welcome to Wayanad. So the ride is going on good. We have the Triumph 400X. This one is powered by a 400cc new engine from Triumph, which is, I believe, KTM derived. So that's something which is there. Good torque and very nimble to drive. The power and weight ratio is really perfect because it's not too heavy or neither it's slow. Just at the bottom end and the top end is really nice, but mid is not that great. So you can easily clock around 120 and stay there without stressing the engine. Uh, but yeah, for trails like this, that's where this shines because it has a higher ground clearance. Like for example, here if you see the bash plate has also been provided, so that's good. And uh, it takes a lot of beating if you're heading into such trails so that's there and also the bike is tall so you can also do saddling which is also a nice thing the plus point is that the shocks and the stance of the bike is on the higher side so if you see this beefy 43 mm usd forks and also the rear suspension it's all raised up so which gives you the confidence to do saddling so that also is a good thing so while connecting to the locals, I was able to figure out that there is uh, tea plantation and uh, tea estates uh, while going to Erkel Caves and uh, these were spread across like almost 10 kilometers and uh, also there is a provision where you can go inside the tea estates uh, by checking with the locals. So I think that's something that I did and um, the main reason why i also wanted to explore the coffee estates was first thing it was very scenic second thing is the terrain i wanted to check out the bike's capabilities because this is a soft roader with raised suspension uh, this turned out to be a very nice uh, experience because the bike was just gliding over these undulations and um, the suspension was doing a fantastic job uh, adding to that was the power and the tires also held up to the uh, surface because uh, of the block pattern nature of the tires so it was a very nice experience while the weather was slightly on the hottest side uh, you can still try it out uh, by checking with the locals and the best time i think for the, uh, to do this in, is in the evening or probably in the season where it's from late july to september and that's where this whole area will come alive uh, with the moistness and also with the greenery but uh, nevertheless i've had very good fun uh, i switched off the traction control because this bike comes with the traction control and i was sliding the rear uh, while tackling all these uh, t estate and it was a very pleasant experience i hope you enjoyed this video if you do so please like and subscribe to my channel and i hope you have checked out my playlist and also i've did a separate video talking about the long ride review of uh, the Triumph 400X where I talk about positives and areas of improvement and also my user experience as well. Um, it uh, made a separate playlist also covering the series of uh, other vlogs done at Wynard. Do check it out when you have some time and also stay subscribed and also share your experiences if you own a Triumph and uh, also any feedback that I have to improve on. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do so, please like and subscribe to my channel. This is Kevin signing off and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.